Yo guys, this is Prokorinsky. This is my first video with voiceover. Today I'm going to show you some components to process four game tape block streams. Every component is non-directional and non-locational, so you can build them everywhere in your world. The most basic component is the curve. This is a four game tape block stream. As soon as the block gets pushed above this torch here, this dust gets powered, which powers this sticky piston here. And because of an update given by one of the two pistons below and above, this piston zero ticks and immediately pushes this block away. You don't need to use glass and target blocks, you can also use the solid blocks. But this version here is a bit more lag efficient. The second component is a merger. It merges two alternating 8 game tick streams into one 4 game tick stream. On each side, there is the same component as I showed you before. Additionally, this piston here in the middle gets triggered whenever a block is pushed into the middle because this rail gets ticked as well. The observer detects that and this piston pushes the middle block out. For this component you need to make sure that the delay between each input is 4 game ticks. The third component is a linear extender. It's used to extend the block stream beyond push limit of a piston. Basically it's half a merger, but this part here is left out. So we just Take the input blocks, push them twice and get the output stream. Of course, this component can be mirrored as well. So it's possible to build a second one to get the input and output in line. This component switches between two outputs. basically the same as half a merger once again, but if you retract the block which the observer powers the piston through, you prevent this piston from extending, so your block stream goes to the left side instead of straight. This component, a splitter, is designed by myself. Basically it's a switch, like that one, but it toggles itself. So every second block that comes in, this block gets pushed under this piston, so it triggers, and then it gets put out again. The resulting timings are a bit off, see that these pistons don't alternate perfectly. That's why we have two additional pushers where this one takes two game ticks longer to detect this block here and push it out, whereas this one is two game ticks faster as this one. This compensates the wrong delay here and here the output is perfectly synced. This component is an up pusher which was designed by Plexi. He has an own video where he explains it in detail. Note that you need to add a redstone torch here so that this knob block 
doesn't only detect blocks that change the node block instruments, but every block. Alternatively, you could place a trapdoor here. This would also work, but the trapdoor is a bit annoying. The next component changes a horizontal block stream into a downwards facing block stream. I've first seen it on a Mango's channel, but I'm not sure if he invented it. This comparator gives out a signal strength of 4, so we minimize lag by using the lowest signal strength possible. Next is a component that serves three different purposes. It can either take a downwards coming block stream, an upwards coming block stream, or alternating downwards and upwards coming blocks and transform them into an horizontal block stream. This is the main component. I don't know if I invented it, I've never seen it before, but it's not really complicated. It's just an adapted design of the other designs shown. This little circuit makes this comparator output a signal strength of 1 to prevent lag. it works for both incoming block types and also for merger. This design here is a MUD converter. It takes an incoming block stream of dirt or rooted dirt and converts it into MUD. The dispenser shoots water bottles into the dirt blocks. The empty bottles get sucked out by this hopper here and get refilled by this dispenser. They shoot up, get picked up and get filled back into the first dispenser. The circuit only can handle an 8 game tick block stream input. So to convert a 4 game tick block input, you need to split it first then convert it and then merge the two back together. That code looked like this, where we have a block stream input in a 4 game tick cycle, split it in half, both halves get converted into mud, and then they get merged together. This component is a sorter takes an 8 game tick input of mixed blocks. One of those block types needs to change the knob block instrument and one is required to don't change the knob block instrument. The one that changes the instrument gets pushed to the side, the other one goes straight. So I hope that this overview was useful. I use a lot of these components in my upcoming dirt and log farm.